Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm Katherine Hedges. I'm from Lincoln North Star High School. Speak Poland! And this is my apology. Middle school was a war zone of curses, gossip, and a minimum of one fight per month is a down payment for being popular. We didn't accept weakness, fatness, gayness, crying, tripping, lisping, good grades, glasses, goodwill clothes, or anyone thinking this was their playground. She had tried hard to be my friend or maybe coaxed me out of bullying her, drew me pictures, smiled, and tried making friendly conversation. I mouth freak across the lunchroom, so silent that it might be like an unwelcomed whisper, like a glitched movie playing on repeat like sandpaper, softly rubbing away her self-esteem until she was as infinitesimal as the dust of me. I remember how powerful I felt, like a god, infinite and full of judgment. I remember her strength that made me want to break her, make her feel as small and insignificant as I felt to myself, her strength, a symbol of everything I didn't know how to be yet. But I learned quickly, in a pack of wolves, when our pack turned on itself, and that little game of God versus ants started tasting like betrayal. I remember the first time I sat at a nine-foot-long lunch table alone, when even the nice girls started bumping hard when I walked through the hallway, and not caring who they threw rocks at, as long as it wasn't me. But I will never forget the names of the little girls I called ugly, with the bruises I left on their self-esteem. I will never forget the sorries I never uttered or the agony of not knowing the repercussions. It is really easy to love people who listen to you and laugh at your jokes. What's hard is loving the rock thrower, the bystander, the pusher, the cursor, and the self-proclaimed demigod. It's especially hard to love that person when it's you. A bully is not a big freckled kid with a stub nose and a mohawk. A bully is not the perfect blonde with everything from the mall ever made. A bully is someone who feels so insignificant they have to pick apart every aspect of others to feel worthy of existing. So who's the victim? I became a bully when I started believing I was fixable, as if I was ever broken in the first place. Insecurity is just another form of arrogance. Insecurity spreads like wildfire, infecting every smile that dares grace the corners of your mouth, every giggle that makes its way to your chest, your arms embracing comfort. But the good thing about wildfire is it's short-lived. And we were built to withstand heat so that we could grow forests from the ashes of yesterday's trials. As for today, I'm turning my leaves towards the sun so that short kid next door isn't puny or phony or small, but David versus Goliath, yeah. We're living in a God versus ant world, but you have to remember that an ant can lift five times its body weight, and we were built to lift mountains off our chests. So in case I never told you, I'm sorry if your curly hair and love of art reminded me too much of myself for you to be lovable. But I wanted you to know that I love myself now. I love myself even after picking up that blade, after dropping a line and not wearing makeup. I love myself lip hair and all. I love myself pancake buttons, small ears. I love myself scary laugh. I love myself sinful. I love myself awkward in front of people. I love myself because sometimes no one is going to do it for you. And I've learned that that doesn't mean I don't deserve it. That doesn't mean you don't deserve it. So just for the record, I am sorry. <laughs>